everyone, this is Argama Witch, and today I'm going to show you how I draw. Uh, and I'll explain it. So it's it's going to be how I draw myself, how I draw Argama Witch. And I'm doing it digitally, but what I'm doing can be used for uh, my how I draw is traditional and digital, whatever. You can do it however you want. Uh, but if you do decide to like follow along, then please show me down below. I'd love to see what it looks like. Uh, so I picked a pencil pen. Uh, normally it'd be a gray pencil, but you could also do like a blue pencil. Um, and we're going to start with a circle for the head. That, that's, that's our head. And then we're only doing the head today. Um, now I do a line down the center depending on where the character is facing. So if she's facing forward, or if the character's facing forward, it'd be down the center. If she's facing over to artist's right, she would be like that. Uh, left would be that way. And profile would be that way. I'm gonna do kind of a three quarter to the left because that's my, my go-to and it's a slight curve. It's not straight up and down. So it'll curve kind of basic with the shape of the ball. And then we're going to do a line uh, just below halfway of the circle. I'm going to turn my paper just slightly. And this is where the eyes are going to be. It's also curved just slightly. It's not a perfect uh, line. And adjust a little if you want. And this is going to give you a basic idea of where the eyes are going to be. If uh, you want the eyes to kind of be higher up, like so the face is aimed up, then you're going to put it up higher. If you want it lower, you're going to aim it a little lower. And you're going to curve following if this was an actual 3D sphere. Uh, just remember that if you do it like looking down, you're going to have less chin to work with and more head and the opposite for when you're, uh, if you do it upward. But we're going to do it in the center-ish. So it'll just be a basic look. And now we're going to do the uh, shape of the face. Let's start with the eyebrow and the indentation to where our eye socket would be. Our eye would be about here. We're going to come out for the cheekbone and then kind of slightly rounded down towards the chin, depending on how long you want the face to be. And here we do that. I usually pull it in a little bit, like that. And then this is gonna be a slightly lower line than this for the jaw, look at the jaw line. So we have the cheekbone up here and the jaw line down here. If uh, you're facing forward, you wouldn't have the cheekbone, you'd only have the jawline to where those would be. Uh, for proportions, usually, usually you'd follow where the tip of the nose would be, about where the cheekbone is. The eyebrows are like right about here where the brow line is. This is going to kind of come up and that's going to eh, be our head. I just come back a little more overly in the back. Then we have ears. Ears should line up with the top of the brow and the cheekbone. It's about the size of an ear and where it's located. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw in more detail later for that. Now I'm just going to kind of erase this our starting circle because we don't really need it. If this is a pen, uh, drawing, like a traditional drawing, I would have probably done that pencil circle much later. Um, and our nose is going to be on this line right about here. It's going to line up with the cheekbone. And our mouth is just slightly above halfway. So if this is halfway between the nose and the chin, it's about here, we're going to be just slightly above it. A little smirk. 
I'm going to erase these lines since they're no longer needed over here. And to make this a little lighter, I'm going to slightly erase it. So you can still see it, just it's a little, little, a little erased. Alright, so I normally just bring the nose line up. And there's many ways you can draw noses, and there's many ways you can draw lips and whatever, but this is how I do it. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Um, so we're going to put our brows here. And then our eye. I always start with like the smaller eye, the eye facing away, or the left eye. And for Orgama, she kind of has more of like a boyishy face. So I try not to go too, too much for the eyes, being overly feminine. A little crease for the eyelid. A couple of lashes, a couple of lower lashes. And kind of where the pupil is going to be as well there. Actually, I think I'm going to rechange the mouth. I always decide things later on. But we still know it's about halfway between here, so we can give her an open smile. Show some teeth, show the tongue. Why are we doing this one? And this should be approximately like an eye in between. Sometimes I do it a little further apart, which you shouldn't, but yeah. I'll see what I like afterwards. Alright, so that's our, our basic shape. And at this point, I would uh, flip the pit piece, see what needs to be fixed, and then work on it. Um, if you're doing it traditionally, you can hold the paper backwards and up to a light source, and then you can kind of see anything that doesn't look right. So I want to pull this in a little bit. I want to make it a little bigger. Not so much the brow. I think the brow's okay. So I'm going to just come like that. I want this a little bit bigger and turn just a little bit. It should still kind of be on that same line. So the initial line we had went through the pupils. It should still go through the pupils. All right, that works for me for this. Let me give her a little lash there. All right. Yeah, it looks fine. Um, now for, well, let me just throw in a neck real quick. There we go. Attaches up the base. This is, you know, like collarbones and shit. So for the hair, I figure out where the hairline starts and decide how much volume the hair is going to get. So I kind of do it like a little extra line around. And this is how much the hair is going to fluff off of it. So I will never draw like something like this where the hair is below that line. It'll always be above that line because I want that kind of volume there. Not that she has that kind of hair, but she yeah, no. So we still have our like center line and she has a part down the center and it comes up, tucks behind an ear, comes up, tucks around the face behind the ear. This is just the fringe. Might make like a few pieces fall off. Yet the hair that's attached to the scalp you'd see. These little sideburn thingies. And since the hair is going to continue to like go like that. So this is where our part is. And I have short hair, 
Just giving myself short hair. Short spiky hair. Yeah, I like that. Boop. Erase some unnecessary lines that might confuse you later on. And I have two tone hair. Just kind of like some other little details. I'm gonna sort of just finish this off by showing where the dresses, the choker, and then we're just gonna kind of finish it there. Pull this eye in a little bit because I want her facing or looking more at us. Right, do another flip, make sure it's to where I like, and if it's not, then I fix everything I don't like. Like so, for example, mind you, when I do traditional drawings, I do it a lot lighter. And it's usually sketchier, so when I go and I have to fix things, it's not that as much drawing effort put in, you know. But I sometimes get lost in my sketch artwork when I'm doing digital, so. Now we're gonna lose the part. I sometimes give a part, but not always. Which means this is gonna come down. One of the fun things about digital, it's a lot easier to adjust your artwork so it makes it a little quicker. Hmm, I'm not liking this hair at all, so I'm going to redo the hair completely. I get that way sometimes. And when I say sometimes, I mean all the time. Alright, so our head's about here, our hair would be about here as well. Mm, that's just a little swoop. Little swoop. I guess I like that. Just little edits here and there to make it to how I want it. To have, even if it's slightly fudging some of the perspectives or whatever. Like I'm still within range of that cheekbone. But I just moved it in a little bit because I moved the, where the eyes were. I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's not perfect, but this is just how I go when I draw things. And uh, next, I'm going to show you how I ink things. <laughs> <laughs> 